what's up? Chase here with another guitar lesson. And this is great because uh, we're going to hit two birds with one stone because I'm doing this to help a friend out. So I figured I'd go ahead and just post this to YouTube so everybody can learn from it. So we're going to do Fight for Your Right to Party by the Beastie Boys. And this is how I play it, how we play it, the Velcro Pygmies, which is different from the original, which happens most of the time. So I've got this pulled up on my laptop right here, just so uh, we can kind of get somewhat of a reference. And I'm gonna kind of strum along so you can see where it's at, and then we'll go down, we'll do the show, then I'll do the tell. So that's enough to get the gist of it. So your intro riff there, we're in the key of A, and by the way, we are tuned to D standard, which is basically standard tuning down one whole step. And here's a note if you'd like to tune to it. All right, so we're in the key of A, and your intro opening chords are A, C, and D. And it sounds like this. And um, this is a little funny because the timing of it um, is on the upbeat. It starts on the upbeat. And if you think about this too much, you might confuse yourself. So just listen to it, play along, and if it works out good for you, great. If you're having some trouble with it, here's the, the simplest way I can explain it. So you have your downbeat. If you're, you know, every most songs, you know, you count to four, right? One, two, three, four. Well, one is your downbeat, and then you have eighth notes, which is one and two and three and four and. So those eighth notes, that's your upbeat. So you're starting on the and of one. <laughs> thing I do to make this a little easier for myself and this will probably help you too is I will hit the guitar on the one on the downbeat just muting the strings and then I play that a on the upbeat and then I will jazz it up a little bit and I'll play it like this and basically hitting that A note twice. Once again, what is really the best way to do things, how I like to do things, and what is usually easiest is feeling this more so than trying to get all nerdy and technical with it and oh how's that? The, you know, how are you counting this specifically? Is it, you know, the downbeat, and beat, the, the and of whatever? Like, that stuff can help if you're stuck on something, but I would rather just feel it. Like, if you can listen to it, hear how it sounds, and then play along with that, it's just you're feeling it. You're not having to over analyze it. So, if you are having trouble with this at the very end of the video, I have put the nerdy technical stuff in there of how to count this but you should just try and feel it. The song, it starts with the, with the drum hit, that's your, your downbeat, and then you start on the, uh, the upbeat of that, and it's, you know, if you listen to it, you can always tap your finger with it. And um, it's, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, back to the song. You may have noticed that I'm kind of jumping around, playing this stuff in different positions and whatnot, and it, 
I hope it's not confusing you too much, but basically it's all the same notes. I'm just doing different variations or different ways of playing this stuff. The chords, A, C, and D. Or I will do the power chords. Either one's fine. Uh, when we're playing this live, I will just walk back and forth just however I'm feeling. Okay, so that's your intro. You get into the verse now. The original Beastie Boys recording, they are literally playing one note, and that's the A note, and they're just chugging on it. And you can do that, that's fine. How I do it is I go down here to the seventh fret of your D string, and uh, it's that's an A note, and then I will alternate to the fifth fret of the D string, which is a G, and I'm letting my A string ring with this, and I will bounce back and forth, and that looks like this. So. Um, it's the same rhythm. And uh, if you pay close attention, I'm hitting that A and then just the A string, then uh, the fifth fret, A string. So you're kind of bouncing back and forth with that A string. cool like bounce like kind of sway to it and that's why I do it because it just sounds more like party like for some reason and so that's why I do it and um, also too I'm playing the same notes again um, this is C so it's your D and G strings on the fifth fret and um, D, which is same thing, just move down to the seventh fret. And then I will let my A string ring with that. So you have. So you have A, C, D. it's very compact on this one position right so when you're like jumping around going crazy and stuff it's all right here you don't even have to think about it and I will slow this down just to make sure um, everybody can see exactly what I'm doing so we'll go real slow And so that's the end of your verse, because it, it hits that A one more time. So it's and it looked like this actually. And then a, you got a fight, which is a D. And then um C. And that's like four hits, like eight notes. So you have Then we have our little like bridge section. It's the only part of the song that's different. And um, that is your third fret G to E. And um, you can play like a G chord. I'll do that. And even kind of bend it a little bit. 
that very loose. <laughs> Um, and then I will sometimes add the pinch harmonic. And um, that's eighth notes. You know, just you hit your bend on the third fret, open, and then. tight there you can play it loose too like all this stuff sounds very close together it's you know it takes a very trained ear to hear the small differences so I kind of do this stuff for self-amusement or just like whatever fits like what I'm going for, or what I'm trying to do at that particular moment. All right, so I hope this helps. Um, this is the basic parts of the song. I'm not gonna go over the structure or anything like that today. Um, if anybody needs any extra help, any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you. So have a rocking day and fight for your right to party. Okay, so to dive a little bit deeper into the rhythm of this, get a little more granular. And yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it out there. I'm probably gonna look pretty silly, look like an idiot trying to explain this, but these silly little things may help you understand this better. All right, so here we go. You're counting to four. You have you have three notes you're playing. You have A, C, and D. So your A is on the upbeat of one. One and two, three is where your C chord is, and four is where your D chord is. So to kind of count this, I'm gonna like accent the notes that you're playing. So you have one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. So if I'm like tapping with this, you have like one and two, three, four, one and two. Three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. So that's like with the guitar, if you want to get like just the strumming, like don't even worry about your left hand, you have one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. Two, three, four. 